Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 77 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. Looks like I've fleshed out all of my events. So where was I? Oh, since Katorito's latest event we have a new item we can build. Or perhaps I just recently got the uh, materials for it. Yes. In any case, yes. it doesn't look important, but there's a little scene. So, of our call calls Katorito in to test out her new armor. Well, armor may be a bit of a Overstatement. Okay, she tries it on. But there's a part she doesn't understand. Oh yeah, this goes under your clothes. Under your normal clothes. And apparently he tries to put it on her himself. She says she can do it herself. Uh, yeah, right, sorry. Hmm, anyway. That means the end of those two stones that I got way back when. So this is the place, yeah. In addition to being the only place where you can pick up those dragon those crimson dragon stones. There's also this empty room I wasn't able to get to before. So I'll just show you what's in it and probably finish the rest of the level without you. So we get in here. Jupiter stones. Adding to your maximum HP. Well, it's special such as it is, but the rest of the level isn't, so I will see you in a few minutes. Alright, that went well. Since we got into the sealed off room, we get this free money. And here's that crimson whatever stone. I got five of them, so most likely that'll last me the rest of the game. But more importantly, we did it so a new scene could pop up. Note that it's in Avaro's workshop, but if you want to hit the workshop before the scene, you can bypass it with the button in the lower right. Hell, why not? Nothing new. But I've been gathering a lot of seeds. These actually sell for a pretty good price. And the red liquid isn't hard to come by if I were really looking for it. I'll have to remember that later. Oh yes, I do need more of these now that I have more characters though. Yes. I'd also like to make more mercy rings, but that can wait. Hey, another yes. cage. I think I'll lay that out and see if I can catch a hundred angels yes. in my off-screen play of that Mikshuana boss fight. Let's put it off a little longer, huh? No. Oh. I caught some spirits, but uh, I already knew I didn't need them, didn't I? Let's see, one star. I'm a sucker for everything that comes my way. I just have to capture them. Sooner or later I'm gonna 
actually figure out how to do that properly. I used the one I bought of this and the one I bought of this. So now I have one of everything here. But I'll probably have to go back eventually. So, let's see what Katorito has to say. Okay, Katorito, let's confirm one more time. Are you sure you want to try this? So, this regards that conversation we had with Ki at Kisner's place about her dragon transformation. So, she's really going to do it. And it's true that from her experiences so far, she seems to have gained some confidence. But, you know, it's uncertain. Okay, sure, she'd like to try it. It's alright if she fails. Well, feels confident she'll do it. Kisner agrees. In addition to how hard she's been trying, she's also gained a lot of experience and knowledge. He all thinks it will be well. And apparently helping them out with their household chores has given her a measure of confidence. Somehow. Whatever, we'll roll with it. Apparently Risha and Sally also taught her some of her rulership knowledge. Just the very first steps. And Rosaline says that since she's got the spirit to do it, that's probably the most important thing. Hmm, that's odd. For some reason, Avara leaves feels a bit left out here. Did Katarito perhaps ask everybody but Avara for help with this? He's a bit shocked. Don't tell me you also uh, conferred with Deed on this. Oh no, Deedham don't know Jack about this. Furthermore, he's been busy with his vanguard. Oh, that's good. That means it wasn't just Avaro. He feels a little better now. Thank you, Deed. Ha 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 ha. Alright, so anyway. Katorito's really been giving her best all this time, so... Let's see if she's got the results she wanted. So, she doesn't have to be afraid of failing. And if she tries, she might succeed. Huh. Furthermore, lately while wearing the necklace, it gives off that pleasantly warm feeling more than before. So, just maybe. Alright then. If that's how it is, we'll support you all we can. Do your best. So she floats off a little ways. And everybody watches her. A bit like parents might watch their children. So, by the way, if this succeeds, Katorito becomes a dragon, right? Okay, Kisner thinks so. Are you worried? Hey, if she becomes a dragon, will we be able to speak to her? 
and she won't like go berserk and attack us or anything. Behind Avaro, Deedhelm is actually readying weapons. And since Avaro decided to say this, it's gotten everybody nervous. Uh, oops. Uh, he's just worried about the worst case scenario. Since it's Katarito and everything, he's sure it'll work out. Yeah, sure he's sure. Well, too late now. Avaro tries to reinsure himself. We're counting on you, Katarito. Not to go insane or anything. So she concentrates a bit up there and starts glaring off with light. And at one moment it explodes. Ooh. Avaro calls out Katarito's name. Waffa bomb. Hey, it wasn't raining a minute ago. No, anyway. Once that glaring light has disappeared, this is what we see. Avaro takes a moment to describe it to our, the listener, the viewer, the gamer. So, that's Katarito's true form. And it's a godly wonderful dragon, isn't it? And one, just one flap of the wings will send a wind about and all. It kind of resembles her a bit. Some of her decorations in particular remind me of her. And the weapon. But it was just for a moment. She loses her dragon form almost immediately, and with another burst of light, it disappears leaving her human form simply falling out of the air. Objection! Her boobs are not that big. I hate it when they do this kind of crap just for fan service. Anyway, Avaro rushes over and catches her. So, Katarito, is that you? So, Avaro's holding her and is a bit confused by her appearance. Apparently, it's not just fan service. In addition, you can see her hair is considerably longer and, well, they'll mention the dress in a moment. Ah, uh, yes, here. This isn't how Katrito usually looks. Indeed, even her clothes, who are you, which are usually a bit too big for her, are not doing the job properly at this point. Yeah, her skirt would usually come down to her feet, and now it barely covers her hips. So, yeah. Humans have to go through puberty for like three years, and she did it in three minutes. Oh, good to see her awake now. She's getting her bearings here. Alright, it's a good thing you're okay. Anything wrong? Does it hurt anywhere? Still disoriented. And flustered? Interesting. Avaro thinks it must be because she failed at changing into a dragon. Hey, it's me, it's Avaro. Are you there? Avaro moves to actually hug her in order to calm her down, but that just gets her worse. Uh, 
なります大丈夫ですから話してください Okay, yes, she knows you're a v a r o and everything. And she's fine, so let her go. Katorito? That's funny, her manner of speaking has changed. Maybe it's a side effect of the dragon transformation or something? Huh. Anyway, a v a r o s going to completely miss the point again. And ask you if there's anything wrong with your body, if it hurts. <clears throat> if these changes have left you. Ah, hell. He's just looking for a reason to help her out, isn't he? But as Avaro tries to check on her status, she just gets more. Okay, she's really fine, so let go of her already. Hoa! So, with another burst of light, she's back to normal. Great! Back to normal! Uh, actually, that's not a good thing, is it? It means it was a failure. Uh, so, of our back steps. Even if it was only a moment, she became a dragon at all. Good job. a v a r o goes to pet her on the head. And she dodges. God, a v a r o can you be more clueless? <laughs> right, that was awesome. She was an amazingly cool ass dragon. Lump. Alright, so now that Katarita has somebody to interact with besides a v a r o she goes and hides behind Pia. Oh, Alright, calm down there. Everything's fine, and it was a success and all. Katarita peeks out at a v a r o from behind Pia. そういえばさっきカトリトが落ちてきたときに何か様子が変だったな。そう、キスニュースです。私はカトリトを落ちてきたときに何か様子が変だったの。そう、キスニュースです。私はカトリトを落ちてきたときに何か様子が変だったの。そう、キスニュースです。Rishu is probably saying the right thing, even though she's completely wrong. Implying that Avaro did something unseemly to her. Well, actually, that's the closest anybody's going to guess, I think. Avaro says he. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everybody saw what he did. And she's probably just confused from that dragon transformation's effects. He didn't do anything. Hmm. Well, yeah. All he did do was try and save her. It would be a bad thing if she ended up hating him for. He doesn't know why, actually. But. This experiment represents a step of progress, so. Everything's good. Katori to cons. Continues to peek at Avaro every so often and look away when he looks back. Avaro still doesn't get it. Well, probably nobody gets it for several more scenes. A new skill for Katorito and a new ally, so to speak. Here's an explanation blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's the real explanation. She got a new skill. It's this drone form release. And otherwise, if you equip it and use it in battle, she'll transform into this other form. She gets, what,、uh, three or four physical attack and defense, but 
plus seven or eight to her magic attack and defense. It's actually pretty impressive. Oh, and she comes with some new equipment. Interestingly, if you equip something on this form, you can't equip it on the other form at the same time. So does she have this other body in a storage tank somewhere? She just swaps it out when she feels like it. Anyway. That's that. The next thing I want to do... I know there are more scenes because I've kept leveling her up, so... Where was the other place I was going to try? This place or that place doesn't really matter at this point. I'm just going to go... I know. This has a little bit that I can show you that is new, so we may as well come back here. Remember way back when we made the blue copper key? We still haven't opened this door, so... Let's start by calling Kaltorito out. Now at this point I can turn her into the teenager form. However, I'm going to hold back on that. And instead, equip her up with this one. Stick her in the middle here. This way the enemies will attack her and, well, hopefully just her. She'll get some experience out of it. Actually, not very damn much. You know what? Change of plans. These guys aren't worth it. So I'm just going to kill them all and show you the rest of the level. Wait a minute, I just remembered I don't even need to capture one star common beasts. Eh, well, I guess I'll clean out my inventory again. Well, you might think that there isn't actually much in this place, but... 
Apparently it's a little deeper than it looks. Earth shards. Fire shards. I think I came out of that other one. Nope, I didn't. Well, that's 100% control. Small healing potions. And we're done here. Simple and easy. 800 gold. Nuts. This place said it had some ore for me and it didn't give me any ore. It did say that, right? Yeah, it's right there. Ore. Rip off. Okay. More scenes. So, we're visiting the old guy again. <laughs> so, what are you doing? Ask him, Woody. How he's feeling. You can tell just by looking. And anyway, always treating him like an invalid is getting on his nerves. And anyway, it's been raining a lot recently. They say that rainy days make your old injuries hurt more, you know? So, stay in bed and rest up. <laughs> well then, it seems Avaro just worries too much for this guy's taste. And in any case, he pushes himself up. So, looks like he is capable of standing on two legs again. How badly was he messed up way back then? He seems alright, but he could still be pushing himself. So... Alright, so don't underestimate, uh, underestimate a craftsman. A wound like that it will heal up in no time for us. Uh, is that so? Jeez, you're suspicious of him. How about he runs around a bit to show it off? Uh, no. Let's save that for later. Of course, sorry. Katarito is really worried looking at him like this. And furthermore, it's still raining outside. If you say so. Well, even if he is putting on airs of being fixed up, he's certainly capable of more activity than he was before. Well, if you say you're all right, that's good. But don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> Okay, leave it to him. And everything will be fine. Well, that's that. So, did I pick up anything I'd be able to use? Yes, I guess I did. I complained about not getting ore, but Koroshino still was something I needed some of, too. And I finally got another red liquid. <laughs> One of the bats dropped that? That's odd. Uh, 
Oh, I still want more, more, more li red liquid. But let me clear off a space and show you what's going on with that. Actually, I'd rather not lose what I have now, so I'm going to save. Where is it? Bingo! That's how you save. So now I've set one of my castle configurations to look like this. And if I lose track of it, I can change it back to this anytime. So let's start clearing off. Now that I finally have four red houses, three small ones and one large one, it's here. These can, guys can form a pierce, a piercing formation like so, which provides plus one to physical attack and plus one to magic attack. Which is awesome. I'd still like more of them. As you can see, the four of them put together make one. But if I had a fifth and put it in the center here, I believe it would give me four instances. Four plus four attack and plus four magic attack. Like I said, awesome. So... And just like that, since I saved this formation, I can pull it back in an instant. But I still have something to do. Let's pull out the stone pit. No, not you. And lay down this last cage. I like using those way too much, don't I? Alright. That covers what I think I've got to cover today, so thank you for watching and I will see you next time.